then um, we have some, um, yeah, we have some amazing offerings this morning. Um, so thank you again all for your time. And um, we've, we've broken down into the eight teams. And what we're going to look to do today is um, obviously the first half an hour of uh, three different offerings um, from Francois, um, Bobby, and Brian. And then we're going to go into um, a ten minute pre uh, eight minute presentation from Mark Hines. And then we're going to go for 44 minutes into our separate groups and we'll come back to closing. And anyone that would like to stay well, for an additional bonus half an hour, we're going to be cross pollinating that. So um, that's the plan for today. And delighted you're here. And um, yeah, if 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 anyone, by the way, I tagged a bunch of people here. Um, if anyone wants to do a watch party of the live stream, I think it's one of the ways where, you know, our intention is the game can get as many viewers as possible. Um, and that everything here, everything in the game is public, because I think it's really important to be a permissionary for modeling vulnerable transparency. Uh, and particularly as someone like you know, I'll speak for myself as a white, male, incredibly privileged person. I think any conversations around systems change should be public by default um, because I think this, people carry too much trauma with closed door conversations. I've been part of countless closed door conversations around like systems change. And I think that's uh, uh, replicating a behavior that is uh, of the existing paradigm. So just wanted to, um, start with that and um yeah sarah do you want to say anything otherwise we'll go with brian i think brian you're up first are you feeling ready i just i just want to share a, a a story and a reflection to guide us in the work that we're about to go into i am an anthropologist and i lived and worked in indonesia for two years studying the modern art world and hanging out with a lot of amazingly creative people and learning a lot by living in a very different culture. And the Indonesians, the Javanese and the Balinese would always complain about the Americans who came to study gamelan there because they said that Americans didn't know how to listen and didn't know how to play together and that they had to have remedial training that was the equivalent of going to kindergarten in Indonesia before they could even begin to understand the music. So I offer this up as a way of, of noting that to play a new game, we also need to be new kinds of players. And uh, I grew up in an individualistic culture oriented towards self-expression, like I imagine uh, many of you did. And I want to bring us all into the space of calling on ourselves to sharpen our own tools for really deeply listening and being uh, you know, in synchrony with each other as we go into these small groups, because learning how to be a member of the orchestra is as important as the music that we produce. And in fact, they're intimately connected. And Lucian and I, and the people at Savannah House, and Sherry, who's helping as well, all of us who are putting this together, we're also all in the place of learning and sharpening our own tools. So I know there have been moments when I haven't been my best self or I haven't done as good a job as I've wanted to make everything come together and I acknowledge that and I, I apologize for that but I also say that this is what we're here to do is to is to sharpen ourselves as tools to come together and to communicate and work together and listen to each other in new ways and that's really the key part of, of sound and you know remembering that silence is an important part of sound as well that without the silence of listening to each other and of being together in that resonance, there is no sound as well. So that's my reflection for the morning. Such wisdom, Sarah, thank you. Thank you so much. And so Brian, the floor is yours. Thank you so much for your offering here. Such an honor to be here with you all. I'm super inspired by these calls, I'm going to take off my headset here because I'm getting a weird echo. We've got two cameras loaded up here. So this is a bit of an experiment. I haven't done a live sound offering on a Zoom call, so thank you for your patience. 
Just gonna go right in here. And this time I'm going to invite you all to let go of the outside world. Anything that may be going on outside of this present moment.
Beautiful, Brian. Thank you. Bobby, thank you so much for being with us. Over to you. Mahalo, Brian. That was absolutely beautiful and um, helped drop us into our heart space. And I have been told I'm a sound, sound sandwich. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy to be the wedgie between the sounds here. I'm going to do a reading that actually was um, really resonated deeply with me. And I, I, Jack Cornfield wrote it. And it was as if I'd written it myself. And so I really honored that he tapped into a, a deep wellspring of wisdom. And I think it's as timely now as it, as it will be moving forward. So it bears relevance. I'm not sure what he entitled it, but I've, I've entitled it The Calling for this moment. And I, I um, invite you all to close your eyes and maybe go on mute. Um, I'd like to honor that we all go on mute when, especially when there's music and sound. Um, so there's no interrupts. Drop into the space here. Dear friends, we have a choice. Epidemics like earthquakes, tornadoes and floods are part of the cycle of life on planet Earth. How will we respond? With greed, hatred, fear and ignorance? This only brings more suffering. Or with generosity, clarity, steadiness and love. This is the time for love. Time for bodhisattvas. In Buddhist teachings, the bodhisattva is someone who vows to alleviate suffering and bring blessings in every circumstance. A bodhisattva chooses to live with dignity and courage and radiates compassion for all, no matter where they find themselves. This is not a metaphor. As bodhisattvas, we are now asked to hold a certain measure of tragedy in the world and respond with love. The bodhisattva path is in front of us. The beautiful thing is we can see bodhisattvas all around. We see them singing from their balconies to those shut inside. We see them in the young neighbors caring for the elders nearby, in brave healthcare workers and the unheralded ones who stack the shelves of our grocery stores. As a father, if she called me, I would fly to the ends of the earth to help and protect my daughter. Now she and her firefighter, paramedic husband and toddler grandson await the virus. His urban fire department, like many hospitals and first responders, do not have masks. 80% of their work is emergency medical calls and they all expect to get the virus. They will not be tested because they cannot afford to lose the help of too many of their firefighters. What can we do? What can I do? In this moment, we can breathe, sit quietly, take a breath, and acknowledge our fear and apprehension, our uncertainty and helplessness, and hold all those feelings with a compassionate heart. We can say to our feelings and uncertainty, thank you for trying to protect me. I'm okay for now. We can put our fears in the lap of Buddha, Mother Mary, Quang Jin, place them in the hearts of generations of brave physicians and scientists who have treated the world in former epidemics. When we do, we can feel ourselves part of something greater, of generations of survivors in the vast web of history and life, being carried, as the Obijua elders say, by great winds across the sky. 
This is a time of mystery and uncertainty. Take a breath. The veils of separation are parting and the reality of interconnection is apparent to everyone on earth. We have needed this pause, perhaps even needed our isolation to see how much we need one another. Now is the time to add our part. The body Bodhisattva deliberately turns towards suffering to serve and help those around in whatever way they can. This is the test we've been waiting for. We know how to do this. Time to renew your vow. Sit quietly again and ask your heart, what is my best intention, my most noble aspiration for this difficult time? Your heart will answer. Let this vow become your North Star. Whenever you feel lost, remember it and it will remind you what matters. In this time to be the medicine, the uplifting music, the lamp in the darkness. Burst out with love, be a carrier of hope. If there is a funeral, send them off with a song. Trust your dignity and goodness. Where others hoard, help. Where others deceive, stand up for truth. Where others are overwhelmed or uncaring, be kind and respectful. When you worry about your parents, your children, your beloveds, let your heart open to share in everyone's care for their parents, their children and their loved ones. This is the great heart of compassion. The Bodhisattva directs compassion towards everyone, those who are suffering and vulnerable and those who are causing suffering. We are in this together. It is time to reimagine the new world, to envision sharing our common humanity, to envisage how we live in the deepest, most beautiful way possible. Coming through the difficulty, we will in intend and nurture what we can do. In the end, remember, you are the timeless awareness the consciousness that will burn into your body. You were, the bo you were born a child of spirit and even now you can turn towards the awareness and become the loving awareness that witnesses yourself reading and feeling and reflecting. When a baby is born, first response is love. When a dear one dies, the hand we hold is a gesture of love. Timeless love and awareness. Dear Bodhisattva, the world awaits your compassionate heart. Let's join in this great task together. And in my own words, I see this as the quickening. It's time to break the spell and cast a new one. Mahalo. Bobby. <clears throat> it's time to break the spell and cast a new one. Mm. Thank you so much, Bobby. One um, words we're gonna introduce tomorrow is on Earth Day, we launched a unified planet oath that I feel deeply resonates with what you just shared, Bobby. And it's very simple, is that we are the unified planet. I am an Earth guardian. On my honor, I commit to a thriving civilization in harmony with all life. And so this is, the simplest words that we thought would introduce some principles of like the ancient future based on what it is to be civic, noble, a, a, a steward of, of these transitionary times. So um, something I think we can all do a lot to co-create as a culture together. Um, so with that said, Francois is beaming in, porting in all the way from France um, and is going to give us some um, some just a, just appearing into the, the ancient future of what it is to democratize location through immersive experiences. <laughs> All right, thank you, Lucien. Thank you, everyone. Um, I wanted to uh, introduce you, if you don't know, about uh, Kototama. Um, since we're talking about some reverence. Kototama is a very old practice from Japan that I felt was the most powerful vocal practice for me. Uh, koto means word and tama means soul vibration. So it's a way to understand the energy behind the words, um, to really feel the intention of the vibration of any living things. And, and it's an, 
um, understanding of uh, the magnetic force of the bubbles and um, the electric polarity of consonants. Um, so it's um, just to let you know a bit about history about this. It's in, it was in the 60s that Nakazono uh, from Japan brought this Atlantis practice from Japan to France and then to California, where there's still a Kototama Center, if you are interested. And um, so it's a nice way to bring the <coughs> ancient pra practice into the present. Uh, I propose a very specific order of sound, which is the moon order. And the moon order is really linked to all wisdom, knowledge, and all that, that we have lost and that needs to uh, reborn through our bodies uh, to be incarnated in this uh, lifetime here. Um, so, and since tomorrow is the full moon of Wesak, uh, in Asia, they celebrate the Buddha consciousness. It's a time where ascended masters come down and on the Virgo pieces axis. So, and it's a time to, to make plan for humanity for the next 12 months. So it's a very uh, good synchronicity, I will say. So just to start it, um, it's, um, we're gonna do one minute breathing, very intensive breathing that is very nice to relax and to boost the immune system and to, and to, um, and to relax the body and to open it to the chance we're all going to do together. I'm just going to put on the, um, on the chat the order of the sun. I just wrote uh, the Kototama, the sun order of the moon is called Sugazo, A-O-U-E-I. And I'm going to drag you into this practice. But first, we're going to do just like very uh, hypermutilation, uh, 30 hypermutilation, and then uh, we're going to hold our breath, usually three rounds. We're going to do only one round because we don't have much time, but it's going to be enough to, to start to relax. So you just have to follow me. We really breathe in deeply. You breathe in more than you breathe out. And you let go a lot of the tensions of all the emotions of the day. Maybe you do the sound, H-A. When you breathe out, it's gonna turn our heads, it's normal. That's what we're looking for, hyperventilation. A few more seconds. When you breathe out, you bring everything that you don't need down. All the negative tensions. Okay, a few more breaths. We slow it down. Okay, all together we breathe in. And we breathe out. And we stop here, we hold our breath. And it's like retention, maybe for 30 seconds, for maybe for one minute, you just contemplate the inner feeling, the silence. Maybe if you want, you can do Mula Banda, you know, try to tighten the perineum. Tuck up the belly if you want, or just stand still and contemplate the feeling inside. When it's gonna to be too difficult to hold your breath, you just breathe in again and you hold it for 15 seconds. But if you can hold it more, then just do it. Okay, all together we breathe in. And we hold it for 10 seconds. And you breathe out with the sound H A Ha. With the feeling of going down. Going down, going down. You allow yourself to go down very low. 
connect to Earth. Okay, usually it's three runs, but one run is enough. Now from this place of relaxation, of stillness, we're gonna do the sound. So we start with the A, which is the opening, okay. O will be the cosmic memory, A is the mental, U is the physical plane, and E is the, the concentration of energy. So we start with A, opening, we open ourselves to, to the cosmos. Uh, oh. oh, we connect to the memories that, to all that has happened, so to all that can happen. Ooh. Ooh. We anchor this in our body. Ooh. In order to open our minds. For us to connect to the concentration of energy in the cosmos, to the source. Sorry, allergies. And now we do all the sounds, all the vowels in one breath. Ah. Now we're gonna add the vowels, which is the electric side of the magnetic side of the vowels. So ta to tu te ti. Ta to tu te ti. Try to feel the energy of each vowel and of each consonant. Ka ko kukeki with the K. Ka ku Ha ho hu he he with the H. Ha ho hu he Ya yo yu ye ye. Mamo mumimi. Mm 
Just one minute of silence where you try to listen to what happened inside by with uh, deep breathing. Let all wisdom from ancient memories anchor into our bodies to manifest what well, the highest lights wants from us. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> wow. I just want to encore. <laughs> um, but, but we've got games to play. Um, so now what we, what we thought would be helpful was um, Mark Hines <laughs> made a special appearance at our, um, uh, our Sound for Health dinner portal that we had just, just last Thursday, many of you were there, um, less than a week ago. Um, and um, this man is sitting on <laughs> such a, a phenomenal amount of research in the, uh, applied research around this particular moment uh, with his leadership of resonant technologies. Um, and um, I wanna just introduce Mark Hines to share eight minutes of um, some of the kind of most exciting frontier technologies that, um, that he's been deep at the kind of in service to. Thank you so much, Mark. Let me just check if I need to unmute. Mark, I think you're muted if... I th he was here, Lucien, and I don't see him now. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe yeah, I'll text. I'll text him. Let's um, moving swiftly forward. Um, let's move on to the structure that we put in place. Um, so, thank you, thank you for those that came forward offering to be um, kind of think of this as like a team captain. But it's the 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 the, the games are only forty minutes long um, for these next uh, times where we come together as like small groups. But the idea here is that we bring as many um, solutions, like up to eight max, but like the solutions in that particular category that you know about, particularly if they're pre-existing projects that could be scaled, that we bring those into this Google Doc that's just been shared in the chat. And um, the, the intention here is to kind of not necessarily like prioritize them at this stage, 
but like just get like one of the most exciting things that we definitely think the world should know about when it comes to sound in each of these categories. And then what we'll do is once we come back after those 40 minutes, we'll start to cross pollinate and we'll just look together for those that can stay on for the bonus 30 minutes. We'll look at where the dots connect between each of these streams because there will obviously be connections there and that's really interesting in its own right. Um, so we're going to start there. We've got the captains um, this and we've also got one of the um, uh, one of the up game um, don't even know what we are facilitators co-hosts um, you know <laughs> uh, that, that um, each one one of us will be in each uh, group as well and there's about an average of 2.75 people per group and unfortunately we don't yet have the technology to um, fractal people um, so we're going to have between two and three people um, in each group um, it's, we're working on that one but um, so we outlined each group here and um, just just to go through them sorry do you want to do a run through um, we've got updates in um, uh, who's on each team so um, sure. and and what what would be great is as we just go through these I'll maybe list them, list them all. Um, and then if you think, if you're not a team captain, um, which group you'd like to join? And just bear in mind, I know you'll want to be fractal yourselves, but we don't have that technology yet. So um, I, know, I, know, I know we all want it, um, but you've got to pick one and, um, and then we'll cross pollinate. And we may even think potentially about cross pollinating people tomorrow, but let's see how feedback is when we get there. Um, and uh, yeah, so here's the groups. Um, Sound Reverence, Shane, thank you for, for leading that group. Sarah is gonna be facilitating with you. Sound Scraping, Emil will be leading that group with Marnie here facilitating. Um, sound Psychology, Patricia. Uh, with Melissa mm -hmm. over here, uh, Trans Sound Emily Bush here, um, and Sherry are going to be on that. Um, and I know there's um, I, I'm missing who, there was one other person that wanted already to join that group. So um, Sound Body David Gibson um, and Brian here, you're going to love each mm -hmm. other. Um, sound Hygiene and by the way, David hat tip to yesterday, the field trip absolutely incredible um i wish you could share the recording um yes six um sound heating uh micra and marin on that one uh and then seven sound residents leo and i let's do some uh double bouncing of memes leo um and then eight is sound play and that's lucinda and um joshua here so does anyone, should we just go around and find which groups, maybe if you could put it in the chat might be the most helpful. I didn't hear where I was. Uh, mm. from, you've got to choose your group. And bear with us while we figure this. Okay, okay. I, think, I think about it. Yeah. Okay. And so what's gonna need to happen is everyone that's facilitating needs to get on their own phone on the Zoom so that you can uh, go off into a separate group, if that makes sense. I'm sorry, say that again. Uh, I, it only relates to our team here, don't worry. <laughs> um, Lucian, can you go through a description of each group again for those who wanna choose? Sure. I do you want to want to do that, Sarah? Just while I get this set up. Uh, it, if I could find where the notes are about, I can I can try to riff it. I don't my uh, notes I've, got altered here, I've but so the the groups are um, sound reverence, which is uh, bringing uh, the sacred nature of sound back into our life together. Um, soundscaping, which you could also think of as sound architecture, which is bringing sound into public spaces and helping to create our connection in those public spaces through sound. So bringing it into places like schools, government buildings, office buildings, uh, airports, transit places. 
um, sound psychology, which is the use of sound for healing trauma and mental illness and shifting people's mental states from illness to health. Uh, trans sound, which is using uh, new technologies in order to bring people to uh, new states of consciousness through sound. Sound body, which is using sound in medicine and in hospitals for healing. Sound hygiene, which is dealing with sound pollution and uh, creating sounds to create uh, consonance and, and connection, moving away from uh, the junk food of sound that we get in our public spaces now so much. Uh, sound resonance, which is really about communicating the power of sound to uh, heal and to bring people together through communications and, and marketing. And sound play, which is about bringing uh, uh, sound, uh, new kinds of sound entertainment, new ways to use sound in, in play and, and uh, entertainment. So those are the groups and I'll, I'll put them into the chat as well. And there is a uh, document in Google Docs that Lucian also circulated that has these listed and the facilitators will be taking notes um, in that document so that everybody will be able to see what's gone on in all the groups. So I just sent in the chat the names of the groups. They will inevitably there will be overlaps because we know everything is interconnected. So the goal here isn't so much to try to keep the meat and the peas scrupulously apart on the plates, but instead to create focal points for each of these groups that help to uh, focus people's attention on particular issues. And Lucian, I just want to clarify, are we setting up separate Zoom meetings for each of these groups so that we can record them or? No, no, they're, these are breakout groups. So okay. Breakout group. I think you may be able to record from a breakout group, but otherwise don't worry. Yeah, uh, you, you can't record breakout groups right now. Okay. So what that means is that for those of us who are facilitators, it's important to keep good notes um, so that we can track what's going on. You can, you can um, screen record if you're on the iPhone. You can record, you can record if uh, screen record. A screen uh, record? Yeah. Um, if possible, I would like to join uh, some resonance. Sure, I will add you now to that group. So I'm just creating these groups. So if anyone has, just while I'm um, creating them all, please put which group you'd like to be in and I'll sign that and then we'll all separate. But in the, in the interim, if anyone has um, some, uh, we were gonna have this, uh, um, I don't know what's happened with Mark, so I texted him, but if anyone has something they wanna share with the group, just while I'm setting up all the rooms, that would be great. So I'm newer to the group, but my background, I'm Andrea Bell from Omaha, Nebraska. I know Lucian and Shane, and my background is in healthcare and risk management in both hospitals, in-home care, and different wellness centers. And so I've used sound for my own healing and also write how to put it in layman's terms so underwriters will either get it taken care of or to have it so it becomes a modality within the marketplace. Welcome, Andrea. Thank you. This is Sherry. I'd love to just share something since we are tuning in to with listening that there's different kinds of listening and I'll, I'll put it in the Facebook group, but this comes from the work of Otto Scharmer and leading from the emerging future. So we can be listening to each other and also not just listening to what we know, but to this generative listening, listening beyond the current realm that's connecting us to a, a deeper place of emergence and just wanted to invite us into deeper listening. Beautiful. Thank you for that, Sherry. So we're going to start assigning the, the 
we'll start assigning the rooms. If anyone else wants to share here, please do. And then we'll start going into these rooms. And those of you that haven't been assigned, if you just let me know where you'd like to go. Just chat would be best. Just, just sorry, Manu, I have to concentrate. Um, if, um, Sarah, you're a co-host, if you could help me assign here, that would be great. Um, I'm not seeing on my screen assigning people. Okay, I'll, I'll just do. I think, I'll just, I think you have to do it unless I made a, a host, and I don't know if we can both be hosts, so. Okay. Okay, well, I will just assign. So, Please, if anyone else would like to share, I'm just going to be setting these rooms up. So I've just got to concentrate on that. Well, I'll jump in for a moment just to say, David, last night, what I experienced as our first um, field trip. <laughs> the game. Um, I called it the outer field trip. Because it felt like we went way beyond any field. Um, well, we're in the field and out of fields. Um, and so I wondered if you wanted to just give a few, a tiny overview of that and, and where we would actually get the recording. I, I really honor what we um, had the pleasure of taking in last night. And I wanted to allow everyone here to understand how profound that was and how they could possibly enjoy it as well. You might be in the wrong one. David. Oh, David's not here. Uh, he might be already in his room. Oh, he's in his room. <laughs> he's been sent to his room. Well, anyway, what I'll, what I'll do is ask him if he can share that um, recording um, and then we'll just get it out to everyone. Um, Perfect. So if you can, I don't know if you can choose your breakout groups uh, automatically yourselves or I need to assign you. Um, why don't you just quickly like uh, um, tell me which breakout group you'd like, Andrea? Yeah, I, I think you need to assign people, Lucian. There's two ways to do it, either randomly or you can yeah, yeah. assign based on, yeah. I'm just looking for what the groups are, because, uh, yeah. yeah, that's. Yeah, that's the challenge. Yeah, calling each person to say what group they want to be in sounds like a good idea. So, break up Okay. Um, so, Andrea, what group would you like? Andrea? Oh, sorry. Resonance. Sorry. Resonance. Couldn't hear me. Okay. okay. Resonance. We're gonna... um, okay. Cyprus, which group? Uh, sorry. Hi. Uh, I could go with reverence or resonance, depending if you've got too many people. I see a lot of people wanting the same place. So resonance sounds great. If you super okay, we'll go reverence one. Cool. One. I have to hop off a little early today. Apologies. So. No worries. I know this. That was um, that was Cyprus. Cyprus. I know this. Bobby. Danielle? Uh, reverence for me, please. Uh, though I'd like to be in all of them. <laughs> okay. Danielle? Resonance, resonance or soundscaping? Danielle, if it's okay, soundscaping would be helpful. Um, and, and let me say, the people are going to have an opportunity to cross-pollinate here, so this isn't, this isn't the final and forever place you'll be. Francois, what did you say? Brian, where would you like to go, Anna, Anolis? Well, I really wanted to do reverence, but it seems like there's quite a few people in that. Any, uh, any second choice? 
come back to me. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll have to look. <laughs> Okay, thank you. You know, Lucian, the the other thing is that if there's if there's a strong pull towards certain topics, we can also allow people to be pulled to that and just have some groups be smaller or even have a certain group not meet now. Totally, we're gonna we're gonna do that and I'll do reverence. Thank you. It, not not that's not it doesn't we wanna we wanna keep the plan in terms of making sure each group has enough of a voice. Um I don't want people on their own. Um, of course, so, of course not. Yeah. Um, so, so if if we can keep this split max three per group, that would be helpful. Um, sorry, I know, I know, this is like choosing a school team or something. Um, Dawn, <laughs> it's like pick me, pick me first. Dawn, um, which which one would you like? Psychologically. Perfect. Psychologically. Perfect. You're in there. Uh, Emil, you should be already yeah, in a group, I think. Uh, Brian, Mel, what would you like? Uh, sound hygiene or soundscape? Hygiene. hygiene. Uh. Perfect. Uh, um, we've got um, Shane, you should be, oh, uh, I put you back in one, Shane. Um, Paul, what would you like? Francois, what would you like? Connie, what would you like? Dominic, what would you like? Uh, oh, I would like the psychology, if there's room. That was that was Connie. Yes. We'll just make room in that one. Okay. Um, three. Trans play and body. We need. Uh. Um, Emil, you should be in your group. Um, is there room in soundscaping or is that full now? Uh, soundscaping. Uh, yeah, I think you can go there. Okay. Cool. I'll put you there. Um, okay. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Nicholas. Uh, Paul, uh, Francois, which one, Brian, which would you like? Can you send me into the soundscapes group right now? Possibly. Right I, I thought I already did. You're, you should already be there. I don't, I'm not getting the, I'm not getting the request for it. You, 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 I, I've put you there. You just haven't joined. Just go, if you click below and it should, it should say, join the room just, uh, while you're doing that and, and others which, which room would you like you're muted i said a written body in the chat a little while ago body okay i sorry i i've i can't see both unfortunately on this screen okay body perfect okay thank you um Anyone, Brian? I was gonna say body too, but is that one filled now? Um, what are we? Okay, which which groups need another person? We could do body. I think we could you could go in body. Let's do that. Okay, great. We're gonna be there with uh, David, and I think that's a good combo. Perfect. Hey, I'm gonna leave and come back because I'm not getting the, the request. Sure, sure, okay. Uh, Francois, Brian. We've got two guys. What would you like? Is that a question for me? Yeah, which group would you like to be in? Oh, okay, I, uh, is there a sun resonance or some sun reverence? Yes, there is. Okay. Uh, Francois and reverence. Uh, could we put you in resonance? I think that would be helpful. I prefer resonance, but it's okay. Well, Reven I think everything, I'm interested in everything. Re resonance is uh, resonance. We're going to have fun together. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be in that group with you. Okay, yeah. perfect. Um, yeah. so just okay, finally, Brian. Lucian wants to play with you, Francois. That's what he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, He's inviting you to go play. Exactly. Hey, can you assign me again if you have a moment? Yeah. I mean, one. Soundscape. Two. That's it. Okay, perfect. Got and it. then, uh, Brian, what would you like? <laughs> Well, the original call yesterday was to uh, reverence. Reverence. But I'm in reverence. I'll go there. If not, I will do um, sound body, which is the hospital, getting it into the hospitals, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's using it in medicine. Yeah. You, Lucian, you okay. just said you wanted to put Brian in body with, with David Gibson, but we're happy Let's to do have that. him in reverence. Let's I'll, I'll do sound body because my wife is actually putting together a program to bring energy medicine and alternative therapies into hospitals. So that would be perfect. Okay. That's yeah. That's good for you to connect with David around that. Then yeah, would, sure. that'd be great. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Paul, I'm going to put in, okay. You should, all Brian, be able, you should all be able to go to your rooms now. <laughs> like good coronavirus <laughs> children. <laughs> Shelter into your Breakout room. So the way it should work is that you should see something come up on your screen that says you are being assigned to a breakout room and you should have a, a button to click on. So if you have multiple okay. things open, you might want to scroll through your screen to see if you're just missing that pop up. Um, hmm. And if it's not popping up, I, um, I probably what Emil did is the best thing, which is to, to log out and log on again. So okay, you, might, I'll do you, that. Might need to, you might need to reassign people as if they're logging off and then coming back on. Sarah, if you, you probably ought to get into your room. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything to assign me. So um, I've already assigned you. you just yeah, haven't. it's not popping up. So um, I'm not seeing. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything either. So I'll probably have to, to reconnect in. Okay. If you try, if you try doing that, Sarah, because yep. get into my group. Yeah, I wasn't seeing the link, so I logged out. Uh, and Brian, you're going into five, right? Into, body. into bo bo yeah, buddy. And oh, Francois, Francois, you should already be in seven. Not sure how. Do you see Francois below on your on your screen? It should say breakout groups. Francois. So having yeah, having logged off and logged on again, I see that the host has opened breakout rooms. Please wait to be assigned for me now. So you can assign me. Francois might need to do the same thing because it seems like there was there you go. So now my invitation's coming up, Lucian. So I would suggest if Francois is having problems that he um log off and come back in again, and then you can assign them. Okay, I'm gonna go into my room. Yeah, Francois, if you do that, if you log out and come back in again. Yeah, I, I, I can't hear you. If you try- Sorry, to... it's just my connection. Sometimes when there's a storm, uh, sometimes the connection is slow and cuts, but I come back each time. Like, would... If you log out and come back in, I can assign you a room. Sorry? If you log out, uh, close Zoom and, and rejoin. I'll be able to assign you. There's a there's a okay. button. Okay. Then how do I log out? Just Keep just shut out. down Zoom. Exit. I quit. Yeah, I just quit. Quit and then rejoin. Okay. That okay? Hello? Hey Francois, it's you and me here. So I got yeah. put into the wrong room. So let me see, now that we have breakout rooms, there we go. Uh, yeah, no, he's, so Lucian, I, breakout room two is uh, soundscapes. So I need to be put into breakout room one. 
Okay. And Francois, did you log off and then log on again? Yeah. I, when I you logged on, did you see a little message saying that the host is assigning breakout rooms? No, mm -hmm. it, it, it brought me right over here. Oh, yeah, I just got it. Okay, so Lucien, you should now be able to assign uh, Francois to his room. Okay, it's okay, breakout room seven. Okay. Okay, so just click on that and then it should take you. So Lucian, I just need to be put into uh, breakout room one instead of two. So you've, you've already been assigned. You just need to accept it. It's a, it's no, I a, did, but you put me into room two, which is sounds No, no, I've, I've put you into room one now, so accept the invitation. Uh, I'm not seeing the invitation come up. So let me, um, let me log off again and come in again. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. Um, yes. I, uh, well, well, welcome back. I, I put yeah, you thanks. Sorry, I had a client. Don't, don't, you worry. Don't, don't, you, don't you worry. I've put you into breakout group eight with Joshua, which is sound play. You're going to have fun together. Okay. So if you go to the bottom of your screen, it'll say breakout groups, and you just accept that group. Uh, the bottom of my screen? Yeah. Do you, see, do you see an invitation to say join breakout group? No. No? And I, I'm... I'm not overly savvy with this, so don't you, don't 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 you worry. Uh, um, don't you worry. It's uh... what should happen is a dialogue. I, look in your upper left hand corner. There, it might say uh, the host is assigning breakout rooms, or you might see a dialogue box that pops up that says the host is inviting you to join a breakout room. If you don't see either of those things, disconnect and come back in again, and then Lucian can can try it again. Okay. Um, so like totally disconnect. Try, try disconnecting and I'll come back in and put you in again. Okay. It, if you turn it off and then rejoin. Great.
<laughs> hey, we're back. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, yeah, oh. pull back. Pull back. In the middle. Oh, so good. Uh, <laughs> I, I no. no. <laughs> oh, to the new bottle. That was funny. Did that feel good? <laughs> we'll continue. It, well, that's the intention, you know. We, it's, it's, a ga it's a game with many games. Um, fractal game. Um, and now, now, you get to, now you get to have a little tour of Savannah House as well. Look at all these <laughs> por portals all over this magic portal. It's a portal fractal. Um, <laughs> so we've got Melissa in the sanctuary. We've got Joshua in the music room. We've got Brian on our uh, balcony. We've got, mm. uh, you know, it's like the, we're, we're spread all over. Marnie on the roof deck. Um, so th thank you all. Um, there's a Google Doc where we've been taking notes. And I'm just gonna give um, an example. Just got, I came out, out of Sound Resonance, which we are basically um, uh, the resident propaganda team. Um, <laughs> um, because let's face it, propaganda, it's the sound propaganda right now in the existing system. And so let's think about that of like, how do we design ways to most effectively spread the good news of sound uh, and its positive effects on society. Um, this directly connects with sound hygiene. And so um, it was Andrea, uh, Leo and, and myself and, and s some examples of suggestions were to create a matrix, uh, essentially a shared language that would be um, potentially called the Open Source Unified Planet Guide to the Science of Sound Healing. Um, and that that's, guide- that, That's a mouthful. <laughs> we can we can work it'll on it'll get shorter on, yeah um but, but things like that and then we went all the way up to spectacle so the invitation is um to put um ideas like there can be up to eight um put those into that document and meanwhile your up game crew here will busily be working away in like charlie's chocolate factory on trying to connect the dots and we'll come back to you later today with some um, synthesized um, solutions that will lead us into tomorrow. Um, and with that said, it's 12.30. We want to honor the time container we set, but also invite that we are entering bonus extra time um, and no, Love bonus uh, no pressure to, feel, feel to, to stay. But those that can, we're going to spend the next half an hour um, just going through what came up. So if anyone needs to go, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Francois. Appreciate you. Cool. Thanks, Patricia. We're able to say 10 minutes. So, Sarah, you. I'm here. Perfect. Um, well, um, would anyone else uh, like to, you know, from the full spectrum of like, hey, this is something we can do easily right now, create a, a matrix, a, a, a science of sound guide? Um, of what we know that could come with infographics and things like that. That's kind of an, a good example of the here and now. Um, up to, we said, like, how do we ask Richard Branson to put um, sound healing on the first concert from space on Virgin Galactic that will get beamed with Lady Gaga to like 2 billion people. So like full spectrum, all, all those kind of like, let's do this. It's really low hanging fruit. It put, it's low cost and we can knock it out and it'd be super helpful to what is the 9-11 equivalent spectacle, but instead of spreading fear and, um, and, and, and around the world, it's spreading love through sound. So full spectrum, welcome. And, and feel free to come up with what, what, you know, what came up in your groups, facilitators or participants or, 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 or team captains. I suppose low hanging fruit, depending on the low cost is relative to, um the the aspects of what level of investment resources we have because um i could definitely speak to stuff that's on the lower scale to stuff that's on the higher scale um because uh you know lucian as i had mentioned you know um over the course from about october to about february i was working on a lot of startup um pre-seed stuff and i was able to identify um several key factors within um, the emerging sound healing uh, community um, 
that can really bring more of this to more of the masses that actually would cover, I think out of the eight topics we were discussing, at least at minimum six. Um, Let's get them into this document and we will like, you know, the intention is this all goes into tomorrow's upgrade, which is gonna be a synthesized document of everything that we've collectively. I'll definitely add it to the document, yeah. but I'll just put it simply as this. Robotic arms that play crystal bowls. Yes. I know it sounds super out, like why? Like, no, we should totally have other people be doing it, but here's the reason why. First, um, it's user it's user fed. So anybody in this room can use the device. It captures the exact way that we do it and then replicates it. And then in terms of scalability, you can now plug this into every platform that is that it's available to. And then um, you work it within the corporate uh, wellness programs because of the investment quality of what they would put into it. For instance, let's say a system costs $10,000. Well, that system will last them for however X amount of years um, that uh, the system, you know, maintains itself in terms of uh, its, its technological development as well as, um, and then there's basically a cloud which it downloads the information from whoever uploads the play style that they you know can do from the from the comforts of their homes combined with having those devices at home you can wake up to it as your alarm you can have sex to it you can um, go to a coffee shop and you know sit and have coffee while literally getting blasted in the face with crystal bowl sounds um, you can put it in airplanes you can you know streamlined across the boards so does, does anyone else have that feeling when they hear um, concepts from the future where they remember it? Like I can even I can even see these ro robotic arms right now as like out of you know I I've always loved the Gamletron I think it's called yes it it's slightly based off of similar intentional space but with a completely different um, because and I've actually talked to a couple different robotic companies. Um, you know, I've, I've looked at a couple different options and to get it going, it'd be like approximately maybe a hundred to 300 K just to get all of the, this, this is like slam dunk, uh, upload yeah. right there. That's like yeah. can, exactly the kind of thing we want to be, uh, and, and, and can you imagine just connecting some dots, which we're going to do today? Um, when Dominic said yesterday about, um, his experience of giving teachers sound bowls. Right. You know, one thing we were th we were brainstorming in the sauna earlier was it uh, if you um, if you were to uh, partner with like Gavin Newsom for example in California as an experiment to bring every teacher every classroom in the state of California one of these robotic bowls. Yep. Game changer right there. You know well, the other That's a distribution and imagine if these robotic bowls could be created in the planetary commons. So that they, they would be literally the IP would belong to everybody and there'd be a distribution. Exactly. Board. There's there's no there's no governing board that actually controls the, exactly. the intellectual yeah. property because it's owned by everybody. Because the service eventually, essentially what the ultimate goal for this is, is to provide healing for free. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Nobody should have uh, oh, because exactly. you don't actually have exactly. to pay exactly. a robot. Perfect for example. So if obviously it, there's a subscription model that works within the within the framework of the cloud of how how, how actual user information is then uploaded to it and then how you know users like then feed into it and then also this would slightly play into the scope of the soundscapes because essentially what i want to do is take the robotic arm and put it on a roomba mm. so then you actually can create you actually can change the way that humans interact with the with with the sound healing because if you think about it right now a lot of sound healing is is two-dimensional. And what I mean by that is that it's in stereo. It just comes at you from left to right. There's not fully a way, unless you get multiple musicians and multiple sound healers within a space that can play instruments all the way around in a room. So if you can imagine a crystal bowl with a robotic arm being on a Roomba and this robotic device is moving around in the space through different trajectories of 
sacred geometry of how you like set it up to move. And then you put it on a platform that moves up and down in terms of like telescopic, you change the dynamics of how the, um, of how the, the instrument is heard because of the way that you, our brains work with echolocation. And so you're now actually creating a more spherical experience because of the way this that- is amazing, yeah. Brilliant. So it's brilliant it. idea here, Shane, thank you. And just kind of case in point of this effort. So, um, you know, one, one thing that came to mind as you were describing this is imagine if you could have a whole a marketplace within the, within the up game of sound healers that were able to, in real time, give people live experiences through these robotic arms. Totally. Uh, one, th one thing in the same way, like we should have like the Beyonce of sound healing and the Lady Gaga. Like, <laughs> yes, please. Uh, you know, the, the, like the, this, this as a practice. I think you'll find that's me, Lucien. <laughs> I know I'm not looking my most glamorous out. Yeah. <laughs> And shake yeah. it on stage. <laughs> we're, well, we're welcoming we're welcoming Lulu, the Beyonce of sign healing, to the stage tomorrow. <laughs> I can't I can't wait because so, there's 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 definitely been spirit spirit showed this to me about three and a half years ago, and it's been the it's been the kind of driving force of what I've been trying to move through for for right now. Because you know, uh, one of the biggest questions is how do we get how do we scale sound healing on on a global scale? to the point where, because the, 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 the explosion of sound healers is actually not happening fast enough, just to be completely honest, you know, cause there's, there's, there's more demand than there is supply. Let, let's just be realistic. Um, and given, given that, given that kind of variable, this is where I was like, okay, you know, like how, how do we do this where we can, where we can do it in such a way that it makes sense. Combined with that, I also tried to look further into the future of like ultimately what is this technology at its highest it, at its highest realm and what I kind of thought of or what came to me was you know especially now as we have all these emerging technologies coming together um, you know bio bioenergetics um, you know it, it can you know like you have um, these uh, healthcare um, uh, these healthcare uh, I don't want to say stores, but these healthcare facilities like Forward. I'm, I'm, I don't know if anybody else here is familiar with Forward or has heard about Forward, but it's like this whole new high tech thing. You literally go stand on a platform. It like scans you. It like does all your bioenergetics, sends all your information and data to the doctor. And the moment you walk in, he's already like giving you all of the feedback of what you need to do to, to like, you know, keep your body in, in um, perfect harmony and all this balance. Um, Amanda's just mentioned she's just got to go, and I, I um, I'd love her voice in this mix before you go. If you could part any uh, um, wisdom drops on us, Amanda and Shane, if you could um, put these in that document, that's the Fine. best place for us to capture them. Yeah, thank you so much. It's like epic contribution. Appreciate it. Hi, hey, thank you. Um, yeah, this has been an amazing session, and um, I really felt like the uh, remembering as if it was uh, something that already had happened when I was with Sherry and Emily Bush in our group about trans sound. And because um, even what Emily Bush is doing with a uh, light sound of vibration is something I've been working on too in Santa Barbara, um, combining hypnagogic light with uh, haptic vibration and, um, and, and there's a way for me to actually plug into her system. And I haven't told her yet. I've, I sort of wrote her a private text and she'd already left the meeting. But I can actually um, start playing into her system and and start adding the human voice to um, to uh, something that would drop people into theta wave brain states more consistently. And um, we we've all had uh, experiences, at least the three of us, when we were sharing about um, people reaching peak experiences um, and be able to release trauma um, through uh, this kind of. Mm, um, yeah, this kind of modality and so i uh i think I, so that's like one nodule of information i'd like to share is that there's a way that i'd love to start experimenting and collaborating with the uh, people of this group and that there's a synergy happening and i think it'd be really fun to just kind of see what happens when we really actually cross pollinate our work um and uh what can come out of that and then um also, Lucy, you said something about the moon and Lady Gaga, and uh, a few years ago, someone uh, uh, asked me to like come up with a crazy idea or a vision, and it was 
um, a sort of a joke to myself, but I was like, I'd love to sing on the moon um, and sort of be able to broadcast, um, yeah, this like positive, just the uh, energy to everyone on the planet. And then I realized with all this technology that we have now, we, we don't have to actually be on physically on the moon to do that. Um, so there's all these other ways to think through how to broadcast everyone like a unify.org does kind of these millions of people gathering and meditating simultaneously. We could do a sound healing performance experience, you know, with people who want to be involved, um, just really dedicated to that, uh, um, like download, you know, creating peak experiences for, for people checking in, we could build it, um, invite people over a, a period of time. Um, mm. So, so Amanda, Amanda, there's an invitation for you. During, okay. during Burning Man, uh, the Up Game is going to be doing an eight-day festival, eight, right. eight hours a day. And uh, we, will, we will make for you the Mooniverse. Yes. Uh, it's called, the whole, the whole festival is called the Omniverse, and it's going to have many, many verses in it. We'll create the Mooniverse, and you can uh, perform on the moon My to moon. 144,000 players that are going to be invited to Coming, wow! Uh, coming. Okay. And so, the, the, real. Not to say they'll all be there at once, but the the that's the invitation, and we'll we'll, um, we'll create the most awesome immersive experience. And, and then, by the way, awesome. I'm sure you're going to do it on the moon too. I will yeah, drive. I'm, I'm really hoping to. And I, I want to travel to outer space. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Amanda, yes. I'll drive to Santa Barbara to perform with you. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We, you, we next at, uh, Savannah House is, 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 um, Savannah House is going to be going down during like every <laughs> every room here. We've got like almost eight thousand square foot, and we've got front space and back space uh, with the Pegasus and the uh, spaceship. Cool. A lot happening. Um, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of portals going on. And I would like to just <laughs> offer an invitation to everyone here on the call, anyone yeah. that has an experience uh, that they would like to offer. At that time, it's going to be, you know, again, eight days, like all day. So anything that anybody wanted to bring to the table, we'd love to hear. Cool. And yes. oh, just one, one and more little, um, little nugget. I was, I found on my computer yesterday while looking for something else, a presentation that I had uh, put together of trying to create the Omniverse experience. And this was before the COVID-19 and canceling Burning Man thing happened. So I feel like I'd love to work with um, the collaborators here on like what, how can we actually create this experience of traveling, you know, out of our bodies into hyperspace, um, meeting each other, feeling each other and also connecting with the infinite um, ness of the universe in this omniverse experience. Like how can we actually construct a multidimensional uh, awareness in sound? Um, we've all had journeys. We all, a lot of us have probably had um, journeys uh, where we've had touched on those elements and sort of bringing back uh, what the structure of that would be is something I'm really passionate and excited about. So if you have ideas and feedback, please, be in touch. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, d d definitely That's... we've got some stages that mm -hmm. we'll bring you to as well. There's uh, the One Earth live stage happening on the 23rd and 24th, and we'd love you to do a live segment there. So On May? Uh, 23rd and 24th of May. I can follow up separately on that. Um, yes. All I got to respond to that is five of you. Bye, guys. Thank you so and much. Amanda. Thank you. Amanda, next Amanda. year in Rishikesh, India. Oh. Next year in Rishikesh, India as well. <laughs> okay, down. I love it. I'm to go to India. Mm -hmm. I, I, I yeah. just want to say I know a lot. Of, I've been quite involved with the Branson Galactic Movement, the Zero G Colony. So if um, I can add anything there, I'd be happy to. Yeah, you can. That sounds amazing. Absolutely. What, what was it? What was that? Yeah, <laughs> What was say that again, Bobby? So there, there is, uh, I'll, I'll get some more information for you for tomorrow and then I'll, I'll report back. What did you just say though? I didn't hear you. Well, I, I've been quite involved with the Virgin Galactic efforts to take Gaga to, to the moon, to, to space actually, to see oh. space. Cool. So I will uh, update you tomorrow on what's actually the latest on that. Yeah. <clears throat> Did anybody have another um, idea or anything that came through in the small group that they wanted to share? 
Well, I, th I have a thing that came through with sound healing because everyone has different feelings with sound healing. If everyone, when we do a document, put like one word of what sound healing made you feel because you're dealing with a collective of many different people and it's like everyone's going to have a different experience. So it'd be nice to see kind of a smaller group on what actually comes out of what we actually felt from our greatest sound ex experience. Yeah, like a word cloud Thank for you. sound. Yeah, that'd be great. That, yeah, word cloud. Love that. I love yeah, that. That's, that's love. Like, um, yeah, like a, like a word melody. Yeah. Uh, um, and we can make well, it that's look a, like That's whole. a sound cloud. <laughs> <laughs> there we yes. go. That's the meme right there. So mm -hmm. that, that's, um, we'll see what we'll, we'll have a look today about a sound, uh, like a sound cloud, word cloud thing that we could send out and invite everybody to do that. Um, Serena, I know you've got to run. Any, any parting thoughts you want to share? Or maybe she just dropped off. Oh, she's not there think, anymore. Oh, we just missed her. I just saw she was saying goodbye. So anyone else want to share um, something that came up? Uh, I need to go very quickly too. So I just uh, wanted to share <clears throat> just a little bit of the discussion that we had at, in sound hygiene. We were talking about um, looking at sound hygiene, but also like uh, maybe calling it sound harmony, which is uh, seeing the different aspects of uh, how harmonious frequencies can help us uh, cleanse our, 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 our different bodies and not just our hearing. Of course, as physicians, if we, if we talk about harmony, we sometimes think about specific notes or correlations between notes but if we use harmony as an adjective of uh, uh, as a attribute of sound itself um uh the discussion that we had was like um it's the idea of um using the uh, using sound as a harmonious correlation of uh, frequencies that would help us cleanse the pollution of sound in our different body spectrum. We also uh, talked about um, the idea of targeting uh, different experiments or of, of uh, exposing young um, teenagers to uh, different types of uh, vibrational sound. Mm -hmm. uh, in my experience with my daughters, I see how they are exposed to so many different kinds of sound because I'm a musician and their mom is also a musician. So they've been listening to high vibrational uh, sounds from all over the world, like from Africa, from South America, mm -hmm. but also in their environment of teenagers, the sound that they're, like the music they're exposed to is more like, you know, the trappy, rappy, uh, uh, explicit content kind of sound. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, for me, it was for, for us in the discussion. It was we felt that it would be very interesting because it's such a wide spectrum, the purification of sound in people's uh, environments is such a wide thing to work through that we thought that it was it would be very interesting to target it to maybe kids from 10 to 16 years old and expose them to different types of sound and also like measure uh, how their bodies react to that and also like listen to what they have to say. And we also uh, saw that as, for example, when a kid wants a, a kid wants to eat a burger and uh, you, you just offer them, okay, you're gonna have a burger, but this one's gonna be a really good, high quality veggie burger. Try it and see the difference between one thing and the other. Um, so we didn't get to like really like creating the tools on how to do it and or just like evaluate, evaluate exactly how to get into that. But the ideas were very interesting and maybe we can just elaborate on that on, on how to create uh, the ways to uh, maybe in schools or um, I don't know, in centers where family get together. But I think it's more something that would be better implemented in schools. Um, 
how to sort of like expose kids to different kinds of um, uh, sounds or vibrational, high vibrational sounds and measure how the bodies react to that. Aho. Aho, well, thank you for that share. That's beautiful. Yeah. And, and I, I just want to say one thing on that note, Mel, I'm, I'm incredibly interested in that notion. Mainly the reason I was thinking about sound reverence and this is the cross pollinator aspect is that um, one of the main reasons I think for the level of trauma in society currently and the fact that we're losing some of our younger members of the community um, because they don't have the tools to deal with the level of um, stuff that's coming at them, whether it be social media, whether it be bullying at school, whether it be the notion that the climate and the planet are in peril and now on top of this coronavirus. So it's a very big time for uh, young people to be on the planet and how we actually rebuild the rituals that have been lost. I think one of the main reasons that kids are going off the rails is because there's this lack of ritual in their lives. Mm -hmm. And so bringing that ritual back to their lives is something I've been thinking a lot about for quite some time. So I honor what you've just brought to this is, um, I love what you're saying. Yeah, thank you for, t for using the word ritual because this was actually one of the words that we were using. And oh, uh, uh, yeah, I think uh, Serena was well, Serena was was telling something about uh, we have all the uh, technology today, and uh, we have also the access to or our ancient uh, technology. So, just putting together those two elements in order to uh, allow young people to have um, yeah to have tools to have a criteria on on how what you know what to choose on the diversity of good and bad uh, um, sounding environments that they're exposed to, if I, if I explain myself right. Yeah, perfect. So putting together the rituals of ancient ancient technology with the modern technology in order to uh, purify our different bodies. Mm -hmm. I would like to just say something a little bit controversial to this group. Um, in terms of the people working on sound resonance and the marketing of sound, if we are thinking about, I, I think we mentioned this the other day, um, I actually think we need to come up with a different word that is slightly more elevated than healing. Because I think healing is, is very, you know, it has a very strong connotation attached to it. And some people see that as a bit woo woo. And I think to, you know, I think the vocabulary is really important about how we approach this with other people. So I, I very much like to, I know it's a bit controversial to say that here, because that's really essentially what we're all doing. But I do think that that's quite an important thing. You know, if we can find another word um, to evoke the, the whole subject that we're talking about, which is so vast. Um, no. I, I just wanted to put a pipe up and say that. I agree with you. That. Know, you know, we, we actually, came across that problem big time working with all the children uh, in the Montessori schools. I mean, we, we had to drop healing completely. We, we couldn't use it. So what we came up with was sound awareness was one thing. I we actually tried a lot, a, lot of, yeah. a lot of different and, ones. And you bang on. We spent time yesterday on this. I think everyone's in concert with you on that. So yeah. I don't think it's too controversial. I think it's a, an... I think we need to do this or we will not be able to have the reach that we want to have. Yeah, that's why I like talking about soundscaping and sound architecture, because I think those are things that resonate more with the way people already relate to their environment. Yeah, and, and one thing to say that um, came up just as Mel, I wrote in Mel in your group as one of the synthesis points is like sound awareness program for schools, almost like sex education. Um, that it's you know that people are being made aware of um, in that way, and mm -hmm. I think I think this is a perfect example of the cross pollination between um, b between seven and between um, uh, six sound harmony now. Um, so the two are incredibly related, and, and good good cross pollination there, and and will relate to the kind of the the unifying language because in in something I shared in seven 
is we've been, I've been kind of under the hood of at least a thousand communities that all around bringing together different stakeholders to um, work together around societal change. And one thing that's a very commonplace when we first start with a community is the common language problem. Because until people are in a common language, they don't really feel like they're in a community. And so getting it until people share a common language. And so, so this is going to be a really important point to apply our collective intelligence to saying like, what do we want that effective common language to be? Um, so that we can all speak, sing from the same hymn sheet. Um, and uh, so uh, soundscapes, any, like the, the notes are epic what's unfolding here and we're going to be doing some synthesis, but um, please add if there's other things you want to add there before we're doing our synthesis this afternoon, um, please do on the Google Docs. So I have to go. Uh, I would uh, hope that you end soon so I could hear the rest of this tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and David, I asked you to share. Yeah, we're at the top of the hour anyway. David, I asked before if you were able to share the recording of your extraordinary uh, yeah. field trip. The out of field. <laughs> yeah, I'll be sending it out later today. Good. Thank okay. you, Bye, David. Thank you. Bye, Grand, guys. Grand wizard of sound. Thank you, David. Thank uh, you, David. Can we do a quick closing, David? Would you be able to just do a quick? Uh, uh, let's do a quick. Um, everybody, uh, sound again. How about that? Yeah. Oh. Should we do? Um, who would? Um, would anyone like to lead us through a close? Just to synchronize breath and sound. This is what we did last night that was really cool. Everybody imagine that everything we're talking about has already happened. Mm. It has. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and feel it completely and then unmute and make the sound of how that feels. I just had laughter. Yeah. Uh, 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 lifetimes ago so <laughs> exactly <laughs> we, we, there, there's, a uh -huh. certain, uh, there's a certain faculty of uh, mm. uh we've been calling thinking of calling it fq which is uh it's like emotional intelligence but it's your intelligence of remembering the future it's actually something <laughs> you can develop um it's a faculty <laughs> fq um we're we're in, we're we're in the Love. we're in the games of uh building fq <laughs> <laughs> love yeah uh, love everyone love. thank you so much we'll be in touch love. Uh, thank you everyone amazing uh, thank you, thank you. blessings blessings love you <laughs>